Obviously, in our lab, we're around a lot of electronics. And as such, we use a lot of tools. One of the tools we use the most is a digital multimeter. Now, this one's made by Fluke, but it could be made by anyone. This is not a sponsorship, simply a retrofit of a product that we use every day. Would we love it if somebody made these in bulk for people so they don't have to plug things in at night or change their batteries? Absolutely. But for now, what we do is we make them one-off for our engineers so they don't have to worry about the battery changing and anything like that. What this does is it measures voltage, current, and resistance. And it's a pretty standard diagnostic tool for anyone or any technician that's in the electronic space. They literally are everywhere all over the lab. As you've seen in other videos, what we like to do when we can is retrofit these products so that we can save time and money. I'm gonna show you what we did to this one to make it possible. As you can see, once the back is removed, we removed the existing batteries and grinded some plastic down so we could add a thin rechargeable lithium battery. It's right behind the board. Looks like this. And this is the board that's gonna have the power harvester chip on it. And then it's also gonna have a little Bluetooth radio because I'm gonna show you, you can actually use an app and see if it's charging, see how much is left in the battery, maybe when you need to leave it on a little longer. The whole thing is about this big, the rechargeable battery, and then the board with the chips on it, and then an antenna. And, and on something like this, you can see it's got a great space for the antenna. You just button it back up, screw it in, and it's ready to go. A little bit about the charging app. You can see when the transmitter gets close, it starts charging the battery. The power caster is putting out RF wireless signal that's being received by the antenna. It's changed by the power harvester chip into usable DC energy to top off the battery every night. It's really nice to see that level of detail with the app. It's something that you can't do with almost any other battery. So that brings us to the workbench of the future. You know, as you finish using a tool, you simply put it back, it'll start charging. No need to worry about placing it on a mat or finding a cord or other batteries. It'll just start up. And as a matter of fact, with this technology, the battery can actually tell you when it needs to be charged so that you don't have to worry about, you know, the next time you come use it, is it going to be ready to go or not? Just grab it and go. If you like to see some of the things we've been retrofitting, Go take a look at some of the old videos. And if you want to be notified when a new one comes out, just subscribe. Thanks again, and thanks for watching Powered by Powercast.